guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new here please like this video and subscribe today I will be showing you all how I make my custom foam can coolers so these ones are like the old school can coolers and I just put permanent vinyl on them and these are one of my best sellers so let's get started so first you will need to have your design and so I am going to show you what I will be putting on this can cooler. Um, this is what the customer wants and she wanted it double sided. So that means on this side and then also on this side and it will be the same design. So I will go ahead and show you guys what this person wants. So this person wants this design. This calls for a new spreadsheet. So I already typed it out and then I also sent them a proof to make sure that they like how this looks. So once you have your design um, and I make my designs in Procreate. So I, so once you have your design, you will take off. I just like taking off layer one. I don't know, but you also want to take off the background color because if you save it with the background color, it will just be a box. So you want to take off the background color and then go to this little tool button and then go to share and then save it as a PNG. So once you click that button, then this will pop up and then I just save the image to my iPad. So then I will go home and find Cricut Design Space because uh, I use my Cricut machine to cut the vinyl. So we will go in there and then I just have to sign in. Okay, so now that we are signed in, I will go down to this button and then just do upload and then select from photo library since we saved it on here and then we will find our design right here so we will click on that and then it will pop up this screen so this is what we want and then we just click apply and then we do cut because we don't want a printing cut because we are doing vinyl so we want the cut and then i will just name it spreadsheet So once we name it and click on cut, then we just do save and then it will just pop up on the screen. You can work from your iPad, but I prefer my laptop better. So I will go into Cricut Design Space on my laptop instead. Okay, so now we have Cricut Design Space open on my laptop. So I will go to my stuff because I like to save a project sometimes customers will reorder the same thing so then i can just go back to one of the projects so i will go to my stuff but if you want to create a new project you can just go to canvas and then it will open a blank sheet okay so i will just go to my stuff and then just go to my customs and then customize so then it will just pop everything up and i will go to upload and then i click on the design that i want and then i go to add to canvas and then once it is added i just like to resize it and I normally make these designs that go onto the can coolers like a four by four or a little bit smaller. And then once I have the size, um, I will need to copy and paste it because she wants it double sided. And then I just kind of put it as close as I can so then I don't waste a lot of vinyl. Um, so once you have your design and if you have more than one, you want to attach it so i will highlight both of them and then you will see that it's highlighted because then it turns green and then i will click the attach 
So now it is attached and then we want to go to make it. And then this screen pops up and this is where I will cut the vinyl to fit onto the mat. And please ignore the mess over here. I have a huge wholesale order. Someone ordered 120 wristlets. So that is what this mess is over here. Um, but so the mats that I use, I don't use the Cricut brand because they're just so expensive. Um, so I use this, I think it's Nakapa brand and it comes with three mats and I get the standard grip, but I think they also have different grips um so this is the mat that I will be using and then I buy my vinyl in a roll and I get this off of Amazon and I will have almost everything that I use in my description um I won't have the can coolers because I have done a lot of research on where to get these but if you just google um foam old school can coolers they should pop up and then you can also put like wholesale next to it and then just go through um the list but so now i will just take my vinyl roll and also take off this sheet and so now i will just line up my vinyl so then i don't cut off more than i need to so now that I have it lined up, I'm just going to cut where I don't need it, which I'm going to do three and a half inches. And then I will just cut it across and try my best to make it straight. And then I just take off the extra. And then this is what it looks like. So then I will go and put this into my Cricut machine. So before I put it into my Cricut machine, I will just press continue down here and then it will pop up this screen and it will be searching for your machine. So while that is doing its thing, I am just going to go ahead and insert the mat. So I will just put it into the things and then I will press this button. And now it should be connected. So then you will see what material you have it set to. I always do the Vinyl Plus, um, but you can always go and change it to what you need. So now that I have it set to the right setting, I will go ahead and press that button. And then it will start cutting. So now that this is done cutting, I will just go and release the mat. And now it is time to weed the vinyl. So this is the tool that I use to weed my vinyl. Um, I just like the tweezer kind better, um, but I will also link a different kind that you can use. So now we have our design and we will just take it off of the mat and then I will put my mat away and then I will also cut the excess so that we save some vinyl. So now I just take the one side and just lift it up and then I will just weed it, which is basically just pulling the vinyl so then just the design is left and you want to be careful that some of your letters or your design doesn't lift up but when that happens I just kind of put it push it back down so this is what we have so then I will go ahead and weed the little pieces and I like to just like kind of throw my vinyl into a ball. So then the little pieces I can just stick on there instead of like putting them on my finger or something like that. 
I just go and put on there. So then it's just easier to throw away. But it helps if you fold it into a ball where the sticky part is showing. And I will give you guys a better view so you can actually see how I'm leading it. Okay, I think this is straight, but so you can just see like these little pieces that need to come out. And then I just stick it onto the little ball. And there we go, we weeded everything. So then I will just cut the design in half. And then I will use transfer paper. So I like to reuse my transfer paper um, just because I like to get the most out of my products. And so um, when I'm done with it, I just put it back on like the sheet that it came on. And this is a little bit bigger piece, but um, I get my transfer paper in a roll so I will just cut it to whatever size I need so now I'm just going to kind of line up the design so that I know it is straight So I just line it up with the lines on the transfer paper and then I use a felt squeegee and this has been a lifesaver. I just like the felt ones um, but with this transfer paper as you can see it kind of the red kind of goes on it. But. So then I will just go over it with the squeegees to make sure that it is sticking to the transfer paper and then I just turn it over and lift up the back and kind of press down so it helps to stick better to the transfer paper. And then now that I have that done, I will grab my can cooler and I will start putting the design on. So now I will just have my can cooler and I will line it up on these lines just so I know that it is straight. And then I will just place it on So once I place it on, I will take my squeegee again and I will just push the design down just to make sure that now it will stick to the can cooler. And then once I went over it a couple times, I will just lift up the transfer paper And this is how it looks. And so this is how it looks. And this is the other side. So thank you guys so much for watching how to make these foam king coolers. And if you want to see another video of anything that I do, please comment down below. And please make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. And I hope you guys have a great day.